So in this class, we're going to do exercise 1.27 of the prescribed textbook. So in the question it says, in a class of 25 students, 24 of them took an exam in class and one student took a makeup exam the following day. So the professor graded the first batch of 24 exams and found an average score of 74 points with a standard deviation of 8.9 points. The student who took the makeup exam the following day scored 64 points. So, the first question is, does the new student score increase or decrease the average score? The second is, what is the new average? And lastly, we ask, does the new student score increase or decrease the standard deviation of the scores? Okay, so question A asks, does the new student score increase or decrease the average? So, currently the average is 74. The new score is 64, which is below the average. So if you add it, it should be uh, reducing the average in total. Uh, question B asks, what is the new average? So to calculate the average, we use the formula that says x bar, which is your average, is the total sum from i equals to 1 to n of all the marks we had divided by the total number of marks, n. We have the average, is 74. We have n as 24. Now we just need to get the sum of x. And then we need to add the new mark and divide by 25 because we now have one extra student. So in this case, it will become 74 times 24, which gives us this value, plus, I think it's 64 for the new student, what they got in their uh, test, and we divide that by 25. And then the answer that we get should be 73,6, and we can see that is lower than the 74 we had in the start, and therefore it proves what we said in question A, that the average does decrease. So question C asks us if the standard deviation is going to increase or decrease when we take into account the new student's mark. So we are given here is the standard deviations formula, and we can see that we take the average mark and we deduct that one person's mark to see how far away from the average that uh, mark is. So in this case, we have 73,6 average, we deduct 64, which gives us 9,6. So we can see that this student got 9,6 marks away from the average. And the standard deviation is 8,9 marks away from the average. And therefore we can say that 9,6 divided by the 8,9 gives us 1 point uh, about 0 0,5 which is larger than 1, and therefore it should increase the standard deviation.